This is how to fix a Nissan Skyline with a hammer. Today I'm going to be rolling the front fenders on my R32 Skyline GTST. The front wheels have been rubbing for a couple years, so I figured it's finally time to take the fender liners out, roll the front lips. I have already done the rear. I had a fender roller, which sucked, so I'm not gonna be using that. I'm gonna be using a hammer, some heat, and hopefully some finesse. This is all in preparation for some things to come. I want the car to sit a little bit lower, and right now it's about as low as it can go with the fenders being in the current condition. The wheel was rubbing on the tabs that connects the fender liner to the fender, so I took the fender liner out already. I just took the coilover out. I'm going to clean the inside of the lip, make sure there's no dirt in there. You don't want any dirt getting trapped in there when you either roll it or hammer it. Start heating it up with my heat gun. I would like it to be just enough where I could touch it, but it's not gonna burn me. This is my first time ever doing anything like this. I've never hammered a car. I don't know anything about body work, but I think we're gonna give it a try, why not? These are the tabs that connect the fender liner to the fender. Using one of these with a screw through it. So it sits like this, fender liner in between there, screw through that. I don't wanna cut them off, so I'm just gonna roll them up with the lip. Not sure what I'm gonna do about this. Um, this is plastic, I can probably trim it, but I'm not sure if I wanna do that. Same on this side, we should probably clean this out. This here is some JDM dirt. Much better. This is the first pass, just did a little bit. You can see where it already kind of moved a little bit from the tire rubbing. Still have a lot to do here. I think I'm gonna go down to about here. I'm gonna reheat this fender and do another slow pass. I think I did pretty decent with not messing up the fenders. So much more room in here. This corner is the front bumper, which is plastic. So I'm gonna throw the coilover back in. I'm gonna lower it a little bit, test fit it, and just see what happens. So I didn't measure, I just twisted it a bunch of times. So none yes, of this is yes. based on any scientific reasoning whatsoever. A lot more clearance now. This piece of the fender liner is still sticking out, but I'm just gonna cut that or bend it back or something. It's not that much lower. I'm gonna slam this mother all the way maxed out low, far as I can get them without putting an unreasonable amount of preload on the spring. I don't think the jacks will be able to come out. Let's see. Holy sh that's kind of stupid. Fender wise, I still have plenty of clearance. I'm not sure if it's touching any suspension parts. Might be a 205 tire in my future. Put a razor blade in there until I hit a bump. A little short on time today, so I'm just gonna knock out the other side. I'm really dying to see what it looks like all the way low. Maybe even do the back today if I have time. Got a cars and coffee Saturday morning. I work tomorrow, so this is the only day I have to mess with it. So we'll see how far we get. This is the side that I haven't rolled yet. I can't even get my pinky through here. This is the slam side. I'm get my finger all the way through. Just for a reference, these are the clips that I was referring to. And also that's how much I lowered the other side. Remember how I said I wasn't gonna have to roll the rear? We'll see. Okay. 
It's about three quarters of an inch lower all the way around and it rubs a whole lot less than it did before. Going to order arrow soon, stay tuned for that. I think we can call that a wrap for today. I'll see you Saturday.